Hello again everybody, I hope you're all well, and today we're going to be filling up another gap. Now, for those of you who are maybe watching this for the first time, I am indeed a Chelsea fan, and I have quite a number of Chelsea shirts. In fact, I have 53 of those. I started supporting the club in around about 2000, and ever since then I've tried to get a few of the shirts. Naturally, as you grow up, you only rely on the ones that maybe your parents can gift you as a birthday present or Christmas present. But then when you get old enough to be earning your own money, you generally can buy the shirts that you desire. That means I do have a few gaps to fill. And to be honest, I'm almost, almost full for all the shirts that I would have been able to or should have been able to get since 2000. However, there is a few holes to fill. And this one is just another one that has been filled. It's uh, one of those shirts that is quite unique actually for Chelsea because it's a colour that you just don't ever see an outfield as a play. It's relatively common that you'd see a goalkeeper wearing this colour but as far as I understand it historically it's just never really featured. You've got shades that are tending towards it but certainly not this specific one. So let's get this open up. I'm pretty sure a lot of you will recognise it immediately but it's um, that colour if you can see what it is there. There we go. So let's throw that away. Uh, it's quite nicely packaged as well. How about that? So it is, of course, that lime green effort. Not quite as luminescent as some of the away shirts that we've had, but it is the lime green. So let's get this open. I'm very well prepared. Now then. There we go. There is the shirt. Now, of course, you know that when I buy my Chelsea shirts, I always like to get them personalised with a player. And I've kind of got a lot of different players that you maybe wouldn't expect. Uh, the one I am wearing, though, would just have Lampard on the back, which, you know, is pretty cliche when it comes to Chelsea. But I do have quite a lot of random and weird names just for my own benefit so I can look back and go, oh, yes, I remember when they played. Or, oh, yes, I remember when they didn't do anything for us. Uh, just, just a little bit of uh, history there for me. This time... I went and got a player on the back of this one, and it's a little bit difficult because this particular season, which is the 2010-2011, this is the third shirt that they wore, this is the third shirt from the season afterwards, a lot of the players I've already got. And then the other players that were sort of in the squad really didn't stand out in any way, shape or form. I can't bring myself to get like a Josh McEachran shirt, for instance. So, I ended up grabbing this one. And of course, it's a little bit difficult because I'm kind of only reliant on Shirts that are in my size, medium, and the ones that are personalised with whoever it is. So there's not going to be too many, like, Zhirkov shirts floating around. That means I went for... Didier Drogba. Didier Drogba. I went for something pretty simple, to be honest. And the reason why I went for Drogba is because, as I think I understand it, I've only got one other Drogba shirt. Which is pretty criminal, considering how important... An influential Drogba is as a Chelsea player and a legend. Uh, I've got a few Lampard shirts, a few Terry shirts, I've got a few Cavalio shirts, but I've only got the one Drogba, and I feel like if there's anybody that deserves duplication, Drogba's your man. Uh, and it's not unsurprising that there are some Drogba shirts floating around. But to be honest, looking at it, the condition is in really good nick. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything that I see that is terrible. There's a little bit of marking on the front there, which... To be honest, I'm not bothered about, but if I can even get that in the wash, that's even better. Um, but nothing's really faded. Sponsor's great. You've even got, like, usually the, the sizing sort of starts to fade first on these shirts, and you can sort of clearly see that it is a medium. Um, so I did buy it from Depop. When it comes to, like, chassis shirts, I, I am a little bit more flexible where I buy them from, mainly because, well, they're used, and it's easy to buy used shirts from those sort of places, because I'll be wearing them myself. I think this person had it listed for, I think it was £60. The uh, user was Fabric of Legends. Never heard of them, but, you know, it's, you just buy where you find them, I suppose. I think I got them down to £50, including postage. Or it was free postage, one of those two things. £50. I think that's not too bad for a, a really good condition shirt. A shirt that's over 10 years old now and personalised. So I'm very, very pleased with that one. Like I said, it's a colour that we never really had before. We had like turquoise colours in like the 80s that were away shirts and we've had luminescent yellows, but not quite this level of green. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. That means now I have every single Chelsea shirt excluding the newly announced away shirt and obviously the third shirt for this season 
going all the way back into 2006, 2007, and needs the third shirt from that season. I actually have seen one on eBay which has a player on that I don't have. And I'm just thinking, do I want to buy that one or not? So if anybody has a medium and has a player on the back, let me know. I also don't have the third shirt from the season previously to that because I think that's probably the rarest Chelsea shirt, or at least from this period that I'm looking at. It's one that was actually not ever worn in a game, I believe. And it's effectively the third shirt, on the, or it's effectively the away shirt from the season before, but transferred across with the Samsung sponsor was never worn. I've seen one on Classic Wall shirts, which was selling for big money, um, but I've, I've never seen them since. So that's going to be a difficult one to find. And then I think I also need the 2000, 2003 away, which then was also the 2003, 2004 third shirt. And that's pretty much it then, then I'm done. So it's it's not impossible. And then I, of course, I have to start buying the ones in the 90s, which generally means I have to spend a little bit more money. But that means now, as I stand, I have 54 Chelsea shirts. That is really, really kind of blows my mind a bit. I look back and I, it, it doesn't seem like there's that many, but it's like 20 years, more than 20 years. Um, and obviously, I would love to wear them, but I can't wear them all because well, there's just not enough days in the year, really. But I'm really pleased with this one. It's in really good condition. Drogba, lime green, another one done. So if anybody knows of any places or has any of those Chelsea shirts in the spec that I've been looking for, uh, make me aware and hit me up. Uh, and then we'll see if we can figure something out. But that's it. Just a, a Chelsea shirt there that I buy them every now and then when I see one at a decent enough price. So yeah, if you are... a uh, Chelsea fan, let me know what your favourite Chelsea shirt is. And if you are not a Chelsea fan, uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, anyway, as always, I hope you have a great weekend ahead. Sorry, a great weekend. I think I'll probably put this out on a Tuesday. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.